gals and guys how y'all doing today it's your old buddy Doughboy I'm back uh, sorry I've been getting more videos up lately but uh, I'm headed to Texas right now but my mom thought I'd go ahead and give my eight months review on Oakley been here eight months now uh, so far it's been great I mean I'm running I'm making dang good money uh, I know a lot of guys they're hesitant about the market right now uh, I know I've heard don't know I've heard that uh, you know freight's going down and you know stuff like that over here on our end dump side we're not seeing it uh, I'm running steady every day uh, this last time out I stayed out three weeks had some dang good checks. I mean, really, really good checks. So, uh, you know, the fuel, you know, that's high right now, but, you know, we get our fuel surcharge and that takes care of all or most of the fuel, depending on what kind of fuel mileage you get in your truck. You know, our fuel surcharge is based on six miles per gallon guys with these long nose trucks you know they're most of them's not getting no six miles a gallon at least not the ones I know they're all getting around five to five and a half if they're lucky uh, some of them's down around four so no excuse me my truck uh, I've been keeping a steady average of around 6.1 at one that brought my monthly fuel mileage down to 5.8 and that was because I hit a bunch of wind and my fuel mileage on that trip dropped it, dropped it down to about 4.8 so that put a big hurting on it but you know rest of us been bringing it back up uh, I got a buddy he's got a 680 you know, he's averaging up around seven miles to the gallon. He's, he checks his on a daily basis. I know on some days he's hit up around eight, close to eight. Uh, so, you know, he's actually making money off the fuel surcharge. I could probably get better on mine if I would have slowed it back down, but the last few trips I was just went ahead and mashed my foot back into it and didn't break get it didn't get it brought back up to six but uh, like I said for most of the part the uh, it's whenever I was checking on a tank to tank basis it was 6.1 to 6.5 other than the one trip I did prices yeah they don't seem to be coming down yet I've heard close to the end of the year you know it's speculation that you know truck prices are going to come back down I don't know we'll see I do know that over here at Oakley we've got guys going and buying brand new trucks paying that 225 to 275 thousand dollars for a brand new truck and they're not having any issues making their payments. Uh, like I said, this, this last month, woo, my checks were good. Uh, you know, usually I, st you know, I stay out two weeks at a time. Most of the time, I'm fixing to start coming back home every week again. I finally got my bank account growing back up to where I like having my cushion just in case something happens you know I do make a little bit you know more staying out two weeks I get some in longer loads but uh, you know I had a couple guys get a hold of me off this channel here and they got hired on you know I that helped with some of my checks I mean uh, 
I got part of my bonus off both of them guys. So Ernesto, Chad, thank y'all very much. My wife thanks you too because I just bought her a brand new riding lawnmower yesterday with one of them. Y'all can fight between the two on uh, who paid for it. Uh, if I never meet up with y'all on the road, I've seen Chad a couple times loading. Uh, you know, if we meet up, run together sometime, I'll buy y'all some dinner and such.
got to come out and look at them and pick them up and probably go x-ray them and see that, yeah, one of them had a belt broke or something in it. Something was off. Uh, so hopefully I get that back, get that money back pretty quick. sat down in one of our roofing places for 35 hours. Luckily, we get to merge. Uh, we get 10 hours a day, max, per day. But we're looking like $100 an hour to merge pay is what I've been told. Uh, to the truck, I know last time it was like $750. $75 an hour and so I mean I hate sitting but you know if I'm sitting there and I'm not having to run my truck because luckily it wasn't too hot uh, I'm sitting there 35 hours and should be making uh, $1,500 for not even having to do a thing but sit and watch TV and play my video games Hey, that's not too bad. Uh, whenever I get back to Tennessee, I'm gonna get my generator and stuff put on my truck. I I can afford to go buy an APU. I just don't want to spend the money on an APU. Uh, last I heard, with our discount, it was. $11,500. Well, at my house, I have a quiet, one of them quiet generators that I bought off a buddy of mine, brand new in the box. Uh, she was tired of storing her ex-husband's stuff in her garage, so I picked it up for half price, gave $400 for it. And it works great and used it for my camper. I'm going to mount that on my truck. Um, my mom's got one of them small little portable air conditioner units so I'm going to stick that in my truck and I've got some uh, window vent screens uh, I'm going to alter one of those that way I can put the exhaust vent up in there and roll it up the passenger window whenever I'm sitting around and I'll put me a battery tender on there that way whenever I'm not sitting around running the truck I can keep the batteries charged up have my air conditioner going and yeah I'm just gonna build my own little APU uh, my dad thinks he's got a box that'll work for my generator so I'm gonna grab it while I'm over here in Amarillo and yeah you know, I have to go buy me some of them uh, mounting brackets and stuff I mean, all together, picking stuff up cheap and for free, and what little things I gotta buy, I should have less. I'm gonna say right now, I'm gonna guesstimate less than $1,200. Uh, whenever I start doing it next week, I'll start making videos and show y'all how I'm doing it, and let y'all know everything that's costing me. And, Yeah, if y'all thinking about making a change and you want to come over to Oakley, make some of this good steady money, steady loads, uh, you know, send me an email, T-A-K-S-I-D-E-S -S at yahoo.com. Uh, send me your phone number and I'll give you a call. We can talk. No, Oakley, they usually say they want trucks five years newer. With the price of trucks right now, they have been taking some older ones on. Uh, they just want them to look good. They, you know, they don't want held together by duct tape and bailing wire. You know, they, you know, they want them to look nice, presentable. doesn't have to be exactly show truck quality. I 
but I got another guy I'm working with. He's got a 2010 Freightliner that he's looking to put on, and uh, they just they want him to send him they want him to send them some pictures so they can take a look at it. And they'll tell him yay or nay.
whenever I'll give you a call. And hopefully we'll we'll get you on over here. Y'all have a great day.